Hey guys, we're back again with another weekly update. For today, I want to tell you my progress on my last week uh, weekly goal. So last week, I'm telling that I'm doing a seg setting up the segment server and it's almost done. But I run into a lot of troubles lately. I cannot get the server to up and searchable in with the. I mean, is that I cannot get the server up and running correctly. I can run it locally but I cannot access it from the network, I don't know why, I just... I keep looking for solutions online but I cannot find one that can solve my problem so I think I'm gonna suspend it for a while. I think I'm gonna come back at it later when I chill down or calm down a bit. I am kind of... I How should I say this? I kind of saturated with all, saturated with all of those segment server stuff. I'm kind of angry that it kind of didn't work so I want to take a, a rest from it I mean I want to do something else and then going back to it again later so what I'm planning to do now is I'm gonna try to install a web server on the machine so that I, I can run the laboratory website on that machine I hope that during this process I can learn something that I can apply to the segment server so I can run both the website server and the segment server to the same machine. And another progress is that during last week, I told you that I want to install Raspberry Pi in my system. I mean, in my dorm and in my room. And I've been, I, I finished installing the stuff and it's currently up and running. I can, I can SSH to the server and access the terminal from my desktop computer here behind me. I think I'm gonna show you in a moment. This is the Raspberry Pi, it's below my desk. It's connected directly to the switch and the PFSense router which is running here. This router actually gets pretty hot and I plan to make some upgrades to it. I plan to install a fan, input intake fan here. So it won't produce that much heat. Actually, I got no input fan whatsoever in this case. I found another fan that will fit here just fine. So I might do it, I might also do it in this week. Another thing is that um, I think I will show you the terminal, the putty terminal that I use to SSH to this Raspberry Pi in a moment. Here's the terminal that I use from my desktop PC to access the Raspberry Pi. I use a putty terminal. I hope you can see it clearly here. To access the Raspberry Pi, it's fully connected. I also set the static IP address for the Raspberry Pi so that I can access it, in, access it inside my network. Oh yeah, another update is I got my haircut last week. If you didn't notice, you're welcome. Another thing is that actually, actually I'm supposed to be attending a camp this weekend but due to some schedule changes, I'm unable to make it so I'm gonna cancel it. Well, it kind of sucks because this is my first time participating in camp and I think it will be also be my last time because this will be my last year and I don't have any chances anymore. So yeah, that's the story of it. It's okay though, I think I'm also, also gonna be busy with other homeworks also so I might just as well digress. Another thing is that I finished shooting up I finished shooting a video of the ultra monitor, the experiences of using an ultra monitor. I hope that the video will be up in two weeks time at most. Because also I've also received some comments from my previous video. My friends, my Taiwanese friends said that it will be nice if I can put subtitles into my video so that can catch up with what I was saying. I think that's a good idea and I'm gonna implement it hopefully in the next videos or so because I still need to learn how to implement those subtitles and em embed it to the video directly so I didn't need to turn on the annotations on YouTube I think that's why it's be it is better that way uh, and I hope that I can learn it in this week so that I can implement it in the next video in this week I plan to clean the Red Queen the PC you see behind me it's about one month or so since I bought it I think it's got a little bit dusty inside, I plan to clean it and attach some dust filter on the bottom on the bottom intake fan and I might as well do some cabling upgrade I will do I will swap the I will swap the original cable from the power supply unit and change it with a red color. I think it looks better this way. I might also buy some LED strips, RGB LED strips to light up the case. 
I hope it really works well. I'll I'll go to to the computer shop tomorrow and see how things go from there. Apart from that, oh yeah, and for the Raspberry Pi project, I'm gonna I will try to I'll try to mount the hardware sensor on it so that I can I can sense the temperature of the room and update it to an SQL database so I can preview it and access it remotely and check how the room temperature goes. I I think it will be pretty cool and I really want that. I really want that although it might not be very useful to me. I just think it's cool and it's worth my free time doing it. I might as well do I will as well learn something from it. Mm. So I guess that's all for today's weekly update. If you have any suggestions or comments, please don't be shy and let me know in the comment section down below. Or maybe you can type directly to me when you met me at school. I really appreciate it. And as always, I want to thank you for your time. And see you guys in the next one. Peace.